the warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the thrift of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadRoad.com With your morning corners, here's your sip of chaga coffee Um, Silver is starting to kind of eke its head up a little bit uh, Almost hit $27 just a few moments ago Remember, this is ridiculous numbers. In 1980, silver was priced at $50, almost $50 as an all-time high. And then 2011, J.P. Morgan brought the price from $25 to $50 before they slammed it down to start an artificial bear market. We are at one half of that. Gold's trading at almost two and a half times its all-time highs. And look what happened, just happened to the price of nickel of 500x. 500x in a, in a mere couple days. That's the start of the silver move. Before silver does that, does that, there's no reason in even looking at it. Silver is, this is a, this war is a financial war. I hope everybody understands it. This has nothing to do with Ukraine and Russia in my, in my belief. This has to do with taking out the criminal bad guys that run our financial system. And they're doing a good job of it. What's happening is massive margin calls on people using commodity derivatives. Commodity derivatives. China's just, well, they didn't announce it, but the largest, one of the largest banks in China said, don't, you don't have to pay off any derivatives that go bad to their people. It's just like they, with Evergrande. You don't have to pay off any foreign debtors. Russia's going to say, you don't have to pay off any derivatives that go bad because of this war. The derivatives is the problem. The derivatives are the two quadrillion dollar weapon of mass financial destruction that will be unleashed on these criminal banking operations. The derivatives are the only reason, the only reason that we have a unbacked fiat money system right now. It was allowed to go forward because of the computer programs written by Alan Greenspan in the 60s and implemented throughout the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and now control all markets. Those of you who think this is run by oil, it isn't. It hasn't been for a very long time. The petrodollar died when the derivative market took over pricing of all assets. And now the derivatives are going bad. Commodities as collateral is the killer. It was just, I think it was a $2 billion, um, uh, what do they call it, margin call on nickel in, in China. And then they just said, no, we're not going to pay it. <laughs> no, we'll keep our nickel and you can do whatever you want out there in your your derivative game. Kind of like Evergrande. You can do whatever you, whatever you want. You call us in default if you want. We're clearly in default, but call us. Who cares? We're still not going to pay you. This is all about taking down the criminals. Silver is going to go to one-to-one -one with gold. And I think gold's going to go to about 10,000 an ounce. And silver will go to 10,000. Probably overrun it. Why do I say that? I just did a calculation on the silver coming out of the ground. Now, Keith Newmeyer is saying it's between 7 and 8 to 1 coming out of the ground. But I think he's looking at official numbers. And he's not taking in the number one thing into account, is that silver is both an industrial metal and a monetary metal. On the monetary side, coming out of the ground, the gold to silver ratio is 2.2 to 1. Because 250 million ounces of silver... Last year, supposedly, were you, if you believe this data coming out of the Silver Institute, 250 million ounces was all that the, the uh, monetary demand was of the silver coming out of the ground. And gold was 112 million ounces. Pretty much 100% of the gold coming out of the ground goes into monetary assets, monetary gold. And only less than 25% goes into monetary silver. So that's where I get 2 to 1, 2.2, but it's closer to 2, and if those numbers are real, which we know all numbers are not real anymore in any market, anywhere, for any reason. But 2 to 1, 2 to 1 coming out of the ground, and silver is priced at 78 to 1. Silver has so much to catch up. This little chart right here of nickel with the, with the red spike, 500% jump, will be laughed at as silver goes 5,000% and higher. Because if the markets stay together, 
the shorts have to cover. I have been screaming for a while. There'll be a force majeure on the comics and the LBMA. LBMA just, you know, cut any ties to silver supply coming out of Russia and gold supply coming out of Russia. They want it. You guys got to remember, these criminals know they've been had. They know, in, in America, we know our number one Achilles heel is our cr criminal rigged financial markets. So Russia knows it. China knows it. Wait till China invades Taiwan. See what happens then. Wait till China cuts off all silver going out of China, which is basically what Russia did. China's the largest refiner of silver on the planet. Everybody sends, sends their dore, the silver sludge, to China to be refined. And then it comes out. In, in usually in the form of products. Wait till China shuts it all down. It says, no, there'll be no silver. There'll be no supply left, zero. As Cliff calls it, unobtainium. $600 silver is, is, won't even be a blip. Won't even be a blip in your mind. You'll be screaming to get $600 silver. You'll be screaming to get $6,000. But you won't be able to find it anywhere. That's the end game on the road to Ruta, and we are right in the middle of it. I looked at Zero Hedge saying, oh, what's going on, Zero Hedge? It is just crazy. Ukraine war is still not priced in. European gas prices soars. Russia threatens to halt Nord Stream 1. One of the world's largest energy supply shocks ever, Goldman says. Is Russia selling Chinese bonds? Here's the latest in development on the Ukraine war. Shell will stop all spot purchases of, of Russia's oil and shut off all gas stations in the country. Well, Russia's just going to nationalize all their gas stations and fill it with their own oil. Great move. Investing on foreign land is going to backfire. Globalization is ending as we know it. All those factories built in China by Apple and Bechtel and all these gigantic companies that basically were trying to take over Chinese manufacturing, they'll all be nationalized 100%. And the U.S. will nationalize all the foreign uh, investment in our country, which is there's none other than, you know, Chinese buying up golf courses and stuff like that. This game is over. Nationalization will be going forward because the monetary system is failing. And when a monetary system fails, all bets are off. All contracts are off. Your lease contract, you're not going to pay your car lease. You're not going to pay your home loan. It's over. That was always the end game. On the road to Ruta. That's why Ruta wrote the original formula in the sand in the comic book that came out of the Fed. It was a formula called On the Road to the Golden Age, written in the 1960s. It said, you want to go back to a gold standard? Print money to infinity. Soak up all the benefits, build your army, your roads, your bridges, your houses, and then print so much you implode the system. That's where we are. And you have to go back to a gold standard and a silver standard. There's so much gold in America. You know, people say, oh, there's not enough gold to go back on the gold standard bullshit. There's millions of tons, not 200,000 tons, as Jeffrey Christian says. Millions, millions of tons of gold above ground, even more below ground. We'll find that. Silver, on the other hand, no, they had to shut down the most important military facility in the world uh, just to get the silver out. That was maybe 3 billion ounces. They shut it down in the early 1990s. A lot of it got shipped to the LBMA. It's all in the data in the U.S. This is the uh, Y-12 facility in Oak Ridge, Tennessee that was built in the 1940s to build the first atom bomb. They needed massive amounts of silver to build these things called calutrons. A calutron is a magnetic way of, of uh, purifying uranium. It's all on the road to Ruta. I've been talking about this stuff for 20 years, and it's fully researched. I have... Lifted every stone, believe me. And they wouldn't have torn down that facility if they didn't need the silver drastically in the 1990s. And now that silver's gone, consumed. You know, Tesla's probably used most of it. No, it's uh, mainly 100, I think it's at, we're at 110 um, million ounces goes to solar panels. And they want to get solar panels all over the world. They want electric vehicles all over the world. They don't have any silver to do that. None. The Green New Deal is the most ridiculous joke that has ever been played on humanity because it is impossible. You need massive amounts of commodities, but you mainly need silver, the best conductor of electricity. 
So that's where we are. This is the end game. Oil spikes to session highs. Futures rebound on massive EU bond purchase. Gold should be at 10,000 already. It's not. It's rigged too. But it's not rigged as much. I would, I would expect to see every commodity spike, including gold, and silver will be last. Why? If silver just spikes $10, Bank of America will lose $8, $8 billion on their $800 million uh, silver lease. If it's spiked to $100, that's $80 billion. $1,000, that's $800 billion. You think Bank of America will be allowed to do that? They're a too big to fail bank. They're regulated, for Christ's sake, by, the, by two, well, they're supposed to be regulated by the Fed. That's the main regulator of the banks. Uh, they're also supposed to be re regulated by the CFTC. A guy named Rustin Benham is the entire commission on the CFTC. He says he assists the banks in tamping down the price. This is, this is, I'm not kidding. This is real shit coming out of the United States of America. The land of the free, the home of the corrupt. And Putin knows this. Putin's been on the road to Rita Long. Putin went to the GATA conference back in the, the early 2000s in, in the Yukon. You don't think he knows what's going on in the gold and silver rigging markets and the rigging of the stock market, the bond market, and all that? You have money in your 401k? Good luck getting that out ever. There'll be nothing left of that stuff. One bank goes down. One single bank. One too-big-to-fail bank goes down. It's over. They'll have to go to Congress to vote and say, we're going to bail out the banks again. It's not going to happen. So who wins the largest debtor? The largest debtor on the, on the planet is the U.S. government. U.S. government wins by defaulting. So that's where we are. Nickel has been halted after 250% surge, costing Chinese tycoon billions in margin loans. A Chinese said, no, we're not going to pay them. Screw you and your game, your derivative, derivative shell game. So who's on the hook for that? Whoever wrote the derivatives. Remember, derivatives are about counterparty risk. That's fine and dandy. You can write two quadrillion worth of derivatives, but who can pay that off? And once one big entity fails, then ping, 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 ping. Watch Glencore. Watch Trafigura. Two of the largest uh, commodity broker dealers in the world. Started by uh, Mark Rich. Yep, the same Mark Rich that Clinton pardoned. Mark Rich helped Bill Clinton institute the strong dollar policy in the 90s, which was basically, we're going to rig all markets. Read the book called Money, what was it? Money Men? Metal Man. Metal Men. M-E-T-A-L-M-E-N. Uh, about Mark Rich. <laughs> Mark Reich was his original name. He changed it to Mark Rich. You need to understand this stuff if you can explain to your friends why you're going down to your local silver shop and loading up your truck with pallets of silver. They don't have it, by the way. Just get everything you can. Now's the time to get every, everything you can. It is becoming un unobtainium. If you're going to contact Andy Sheckman, tell him you want what he's got in inventory because he can ship that right now as soon as he gets your money. If you contact Andy Sheckman, Andy, A-N-D-Y, at milesfranklin.com, tell him Mick sent you, he'll set you up. All right? Yesterday, what is this? Uh, almost 100,000 in volume. That's a half of, 100,000 is a half a billion ounces traded hands. And they can't even find, there's, there's uh, 751 contracts left. That's 3.5 million ounces of silver left to deliver on the contract. They can't even find it. They probably won't even be able to deliver it. They'll probably get JP Morgan to pony up some more of it. And probably that's probably coming out of SLV inventories. You don't think these guys play shell games with the SLV inventories? They do. And they attach massive derivatives to it. Jeff Curry of Goldman Sachs even told us they did. And that's illegal, by the way. Because SLV, the silver in SLV, legally is owned by the shareholder of SLV. I've checked the shareholder roster. None of these big banks are big holders. Who's the big holder? All right, let's take a look. It's a private advisor group, LLC, is back. They're back. They bought 61 million shares in the fourth quarter. They're probably buying another 100 million shares this quarter. So if somebody contact Private Advisor Group and tell them that the banks are playing, playing with the SLV shareholders' metal, playing derivative games. According to Jeff Curry, 
He's the head strategist for Goldman Sachs. That's what he said. It's the big ETFs, the authorized participants that are the shorts on the comic. Well, if that's true, they don't own the metal, so they're naked. Every dollar silver goes up, J.P. Morgan loses $800 million. You don't think they're going to hold it down to the very last second and then shut down the market and call force majeure? That's what's going to happen. Mark my words, as Big Square says. And here's the mess that's got to be fixed. This is uh, precious metal derivatives by contracts. This is 99.9% silver. And it jumped in the last three years from Q4, last four years, three years, from $33 billion, which was insane in the first place, to over up to 72, seven times five. Over three billion. Billion ounces of silver derivatives is about, about to go bad. Every dollar they go up, boom, 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 boom. This will take down J.P. Morgan. This will take down Bank of America. This will take down HSBC, Citibank. I think Deutsche Bank's already been bailed out by the Chinese. All these banks are going down. This is the end game on the road to ruin. Get your silver in your own possession. Cryptos will, will be great after the crash. Before the crash, who knows? And who cares where they go? This is your last chance to load up on cryptos. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to own silver when silver is finally released. Stuff like this will be laughable. From 20000 a ton to over 100000 in literally days. Silver will go 100 times that. Again, coming out of the ground, we can see it right here. Gold de supply demand. Uh, gold pulled out of the ground, again, is 112 million ounces per year, or right around there. And monetary silver pulled out of the ground is only 250 million ounces. That's a 2.2 to 1 gold-silver monetary ratio coming out of the ground. Remember that. And the gold-silver price ratio, as determined on the comics, is about 78 to 1. This is your chance to change your stars. Speaking of changing your stars, Freedom Road Show starts tomorrow night in Santa Barbara. We're on the road all day. We'll be in Santa Barbara hanging out tomorrow night at Timbers Roadhouse, and then we head to, you can find this, the whole um, schedule at roadtoruda.com, Roadshow, get your tickets there. Sonoma was a blast. We're putting together some video to show you that one. Everybody who was there knows how fun that was. Santa Barbara is tomorrow night, and then L.A. on Saturday in the afternoon. L.A. with Bitcoin Ben is going to be there. His wife Kelly's flying out. We're going to have a blast there. So come join us in L.A. as well. Uh, you can get your tickets at roadshow, uh, roadtoruda.com roadshow, and we'll be at the Tilted Kilt again. Tilted Kilt is the place Ben held his, and it was such a fun time at the Tilted Kilt. Uh, we're going to do it again. A lot of people signed up for that one, as, as well as San Diego, Phoenix, Jenny Moonstone, and Litecoin Lisa, and whole gang coming to Phoenix, and then Albuquerque to finish it off. So come join us. Join in the fight. Get in the mix. We were dying to get down there and talk to the people and say, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? Across the board, people are loading up on silver and cryptos, mostly silver and theta. Silver and theta. If you look at theta, still 65% of all theta tokens have been staked by the big guys, Samsung. Sony, Google, all those big guys. The stake has the price changes, yeah, but that's just a tiny part of it. This isn't about price anymore. Prices are rigged. This is about how much do you have in your possession? How much are you staking to earn more? That's huge for Theta. Right now, with Theta, you earn Theta fuel and you earn T drop if you're staking Theta. Just remember that. Hang on to your Theta. Hang on to your Theta fuel. I think you're getting 10%. In T-drop, stake that instantly. T-drop, you're going to get, I think it's like 30% now. Return. It's crazy. And it keeps getting deposited into your staking account. So it's just perpetual staking. All right? So come out and see us on the Roadshow. Also, if you want all the back, road, back room access to Road to Ruta, subscribe today. I put up a video yesterday on um, something very special uh, about silver. Go to subscribe today, click there, and then you can join. It's $299, $299 for a year, and we send you 50 Theta Fuel loaded on a paper wallet. A lot of times, 
Road to Remember members are usually huge silver investors in some crypto because they don't want to deal with it. People who get their crypto wallets on a paper wallet have done extremely well on most of them. Not all of them. Not all the cryptos are going to work out. Uh, obviously, those who got 0.1 Bitcoin back in we, when we first started doing this are looking pretty good now for their uh, two. I think it was 199 for a, uh, a year uh, on the private road. Now it's 299 And I mean, the 0.1 Bitcoin is worth what? $33,800 now. So we're giving away 50 T Fuel loaded on a paper wallet. You can just stick it in your safe and don't worry about it until T Fuel goes absolutely crazy. And it will. I believe it will. Anyway, this is Big Swear. I'll talk to you later.